Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Risk of Rain 2 mod. We're jumping in again this time as Pilot, which is a character from Risk of Rain Returns apparently. And we've just randomised our loadout. We've got Cluster Fire firing our weapon for some damage and every third hit is going to explode. Very nice. We've got Target Acquired, transform your weapon into a piercing smart gun. Interesting idea. Um, rapid Deploy, launch into the air, activating a parachute. Sounds really good. And we've also got the air strike as well. Dash placing a bomb at our feet, knocking enemies into the air. Can trigger three times, hold up to two. All of that sounds very intriguing. Let's jump in and see how we can make this work. I'm very intrigued by everything that we've got here. So let's try out first of all. I like how the way this character looks as well. I've not played uh, as pilot in Risk of Rain Returns. So yeah, there you go. So every third one. Uh, our ability is, is quite a big dash, which is really nice. We've got this here. Ooh, I very much like that. And then our mouse too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We've got to, got to say, this is some cool stuff here. If we can get the um, ability that makes it so we deal more damage while airborne, we will be in for a good time, because that's going to be really good with the parachute. And it seems I can use the parachute quite a lot as well. Obviously, the major downside being that we're not on the floor picking up items, but it seems pretty useful. Uh, also, we're not able to, um, to utilize... I really like that. We're not able to fully utilize some of our other abilities while we're in the air either. So it's not the best of the best thing to use. I think the R ability is going to be the main one we want to use for getting around, to be honest. Um, but I like it. I really like the main attack, having that explosion every third hit. That's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, we've got a Paul's Goat Hoof over there already, I think that is. Yes, it is. Um... We've got crit glasses here to start with. I kind of do want Paul's goat hoof, but I'm actually pretty happy with what I've got going on right now. Ooh, nice. Good stuff. Beautiful. Yeah, those crits are very chunky. I like that quite a bit. We've got our teleporter event here already. We've got a blue orb on it straight away, which is really nice. Uh, we'll try and save up some money for that. Yeah, look at that AoE. We can get something for increased AoE or increased explosive damage. That'd be really good. Um... Didn't mean to do that. But we can gain some height with our R ability. And it also drops it below us as well. Look at that. And those are like mines, kind of. If the enemy walks into that, I think uh, they'll take some damage. Let's test that theory. Yeah, there you go. Really nice to just lay those about. Dude. Afterburner. Uh, two charge to our utility skill. Very nice. Um, that I never remember which utility is. The utility is our R ability, right? Oh, wait. No, that's our... That's our... Um, going into the air ability. Hmm, having additional charges of those seems pretty useful. Yes. Okay, it's very useful. The fact that I can use multiple of them in a row is really, really, really good. Um, I don't think there's any way that I can automatically drop those. Actually, there is. I can just jump to drop. Uh, we'll take the mustache cap, what it does. We'll take it. Chance to taunt on hit. Resistant. Resist taunted enemies. Okay, it's pretty good. Uh, do we see any more chests about... I don't think so. This is going to be another way to, like, a really good way to scout as well. Good way to negate some fall damage there. Lovely. Tri-tip dagger's always good. Oh, we've got one of these things here, look. Um, that I died to last time. I will, I will give it a go. I'll take this, these guys out. I want to be setting my R ability down so that enemies are going to take some explosive damage from them. Very nice. Seems to take a little bit to activate. Once they do, pretty useful stuff. This is good stuff. Right, how does this work? 80% HP. We've got to get out of the way. Ah! So I think it's 80% HP and it just kills everything currently on the stage. Which is kind of nice. Kind of nuts, to be honest. I think we've seen everything we need to see here. I think we can just hover on down to the teleporter. Right, we might want to go through this door first, actually. I really like the whole paratrooper vibe. I like that as well. I need to use this ability a bit more often as well, though. Right, do I actually need to press on this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it anyways, just because why not? I do got to remember that I am going to be constantly hovering. If we could get a, a herpu feather to reduce our fall damage, that would be... Really, really nice, I think. I love killing those things off, off the stage. Not you. You are now inv invisible. 
We're not great on HP right now, so getting some level ups will be good. There's our mines doing their thing. Can I stack more of these up? No, I can only ever have two out at once. That's fair enough, I suppose. Okay, this guy's going to be a little annoying, but the good thing is we can stay well and truly above him. I think if I just hold my right click, I can... Okay, this is going to be bad. Okay, I managed to get away there. That's where having the extra utility is super helpful. Good, good, good. I like it. I like it. Right, what item do we get here? Um, the snail. Yeah, that's kind of good, I guess. Um, oh, oh, there's our portal. I was like, where's our portal? <laughs> it's right here. It's uh, not actually next to it. I wasn't expecting that. Still, that's pretty good stuff. We got not much money to spend in here. I don't know how much we've actually got. It's not a lot, though. 450, that's not too bad. We are. I like that a lot. Right. We've got some red items in here, surprisingly. That's uh, rather unexpected and rather nice. Um, I don't know what that does. I think I know what both of these do. We'll go for this, whatever this is. We're convincible we're entering a stage. That's pretty useful. And um, we'll take two of those. Very strong stuff to start with there. I like it. Right, I think we're good to go. I don't think we want anything else here, do we? I love the hover. So nice. Just, I wonder if, if I've got higher movement speed if when I'm hovering I move faster. Because if I do, i got better air control. That would be really, really nice. That's a really, really good start there. Nice to be able to get a few legendary items off the bat. Ooh. And look at this. <laughs> Don't mind a mocker instantly. Thank you. Oh, dude. That right click ability. I think I just want to be holding that at all times, to be honest. Because it's not going to shoot anything until it finds something. So whenever I'm firing regularly, I just want to be holding this. Look at that, it's beautiful. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Got some bombs going there. Right, we've got a chop there. One of these here. Monsters dropping health orbs isn't particularly good, but it's fine. What's that, what's going on there? I haven't seen that before. Some incoming damage is dealt over time, not bad. Make a way over here. This character's got a lot of movement going for it. I like it. Can't remember what this does, but I'll take it once I can afford it. See, look, I can just do that and then a nice aerial view and some good damage. Can't remember what this is. Um, increase one shot protection. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right. Much going on up here. There's a Another shop up here, I think. You got much going on over here? Lovely. I've got a few enemies up here as well, actually. Nice. With the explosions, we're able to kill them pretty easily. Those little dudes are well annoying. <laughs> They're so hard to hit. Luckily, we have some level of herming. And then we've got to go for this, definitely. Oh, we got a void item here as well. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Um, that would actually corrupt our lens makers, which I honestly am not too interested in, considering we just got crit healers. I'd rather be able to get lens makers to actually utilize them properly for the crit heal. I think that's going to be pretty goddamn good for us. What, what's this ball we've got going on over here? Also got a chest down there that I didn't see. I've seen this thing before, haven't I? Investigate. Okay. We've had this before. I don't I don't remember what it does, to be honest. But we'll hope for the best with it. Next time, use an equipment crack open. Okay. Kind of nice. We don't have an equipment yet, but we'll get there. We shall get there. 
bustling fungus. It's good if we corrupt it, I guess. It's not amazing right now. Ooh, we got one of the invisible chests here, look. These are super rare. Oh my lord. <laughs> it's a legendary bonanza. Right, good thing is we can get some nice height here to uh, take a good look around. So much so that we can actually sort of stay in the air for a while. We can, I think we can perpetually stay in the air, to be honest. Right, we don't know where our teleporter is yet, do we? Okay, it's, it's somewhere over there. I just want to see where the, the blue orb thing is. Blue portal. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting to see you there. Let me back up. There you go, yeah. I gotta say, we can pretty much perpetually stay in the air here. Thick fog's coming in. That'll make things a little harder to see. But not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Right, there's another chest. We found one. Took a bit of fall damage there. This fog's weird, man. It's very strange. Right, I got one more area I want to check out. Health regen is very nice. 3D printer there that we don't particularly care about. Okay, I don't really see much else. Let's go and uh, get out of here. Oh, I'm liking that electricity there. That's very nice. I think I've got to use my R ability and then my jump into the air for maximum effectiveness. So I go, yeah, there you go. That's, that, that's the way we want to use it. Anyhow, let's take care of the boss. What on earth is this thing? This is a new boss for me. I ain't never seen this before. I mean, I like it. It's fucking cool, but I am slightly confused and slightly scared. Fog's clear and lovely. Nice, we got it. That's a weird looking enemy, but I, I like the idea. Uh, take less damage when health is between 30 and 70%. I don't know why it's all glitched out like that. That's weird, but I'll take it. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, big chest right off the bat here as well, and we can hurt ourselves to get the money for it instantly. Didn't even do damage to us, baby. Ah, squid polyp, really? Why is it not doing damage to us? What, what have we got that's, that's stopping that from hurting us? I mean, I don't mind. That's a, a lot of money to start us off here. But I don't mind at all, but I'm a bit confused as to why I'm taking damage there. Oh, it's because I'm invincible for a minute when I start each stage. Damn, that's so useful. We do have something that uh, gives us less decay, so... Might as well take this. You get in the air, you. Another squid fall off, okay. Don't think I've had two before. Yeah, I'm just scouting for chests at the minute. I'm not really particularly looking for anything else. Unfortunately, they only glow when you're closer to them, so it's kind of easy to miss them sometimes. Dude, this minute of invincibility is insane. I kind of forgot about that on the last stage. A minute is quite a long time to get invincibility for. By the way, I can just hover above everything and rain hell down. Is that everything clear from here? No, there's still three void monsters left. That's one. I mean, some of them might be underground, actually, looking at this. We've got another one there. Oh, there's one of them over there, apparently. We 
We got it. Ah, okay, so one of them is definitely underground. Quite a bit of damage taken there, my bad. Teleport was under here as well, surprisingly. Okay, we're all good. Back to the surface to, to buy some stuff. Not seeing a whole ton of stuff on the stage, but I think we're ready to go. Right. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We don't have any tougher times right now, so I think that's useful. Hey, that's what we were looking for, baby. We are always sprinting, so that's always useful. Right, we'll do one last cursory glance at the stage. Got some chests over there, look. We've got one up there, two down here. I think we're ready to go after that. The faster you move, the more damage you deal. I like that. Faster health regen once again. Don't mind if I do. And then what we get there? Pits. Hit allies, heal them. Okay. I mean, that's not super useful for us, but it's a good I, good thing uh, to exist for co-op, I guess. And I guess if you've got a lot of uh, buddies with you. Right. See, that's why I took that, because now we can negate fall damage pretty often. Right, let's see where this spawns. What's this? Bulwark drone? Yeah, why not? I don't think I'm wanting to trade anything right now. I'm pretty happy with everything I've got. Magma Worm. Oh, let's, let's go on the surface for this bad boy. In fact, we can just like hover above him and take care of him pretty easily. I don't know if he's going to come to the surface much though, to be honest. Not really. I mean, my electricity still does good damage to him regardless, so that's nice. Yeah, we, 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 we got him easy here. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Ooh, we actually got the magma worm thing as well. Is this while we're sprinting we fire fireballs or something? Oh no, tries to fire magma balls on hit. That's pretty good. Good stuff. Yeah, I gotta say I was definitely tempted by that, but I'd want a scrapper really to make full effectiveness of that. Otherwise... Taking random stuff isn't really what I want to do, because I'm pretty happy with a lot of my white items, to be fair. Pretty happy. Okay, we've got a magma worm somewhere about over here. We've got another one of these balls. Hey, we finally got that. That's interesting. Resurrect an ancient wisp after 45 seconds. Legendary mask. I don't know why all our text is all wibbly wobbly. Ooh, there's all this magma. God damn. Slightly increased damage. Ooh, I can heal this guy like that, look. Essence of strength. Nice, this is some good stuff we got going on here already. I like it. Yeah, I can go to my Wisp and, and heal the hell out of him. By just shooting him constantly. I think I remember this being good. Portion of damage taken is distributed five seconds. That's bleed damage, okay. Clearly, he slowly depletes health, but I can keep him alive by just constantly shooting him. So I can make him last way longer than he's meant to, I think. Because he's not on a timer, he's on a health gauge. And his health slowly depletes. So technically I could just keep this guy going by constantly healing him. That's kind of funny. Right, legendary chest is up here. That's 3,000, okay. Obviously we're not quite there yet. Oh, we can do this, though. This will help. Oh, 
This will help quite a bit. One second. Sorry for the brief pause there. We are back and ready to go. Okay. These guys aren't too bad. Okay, we're about halfway there so far. We're about halfway there. Oh god, damn, that gave us loads. Well, we got one of these down here as well. I want to land normally here to not use my uh, invincibility for the first hit. There we go. And then here. Chance to spread dots on hit. Yes, we like that. We like spreading our dots. That's good stuff. Right, 2,300 rat. What's going on with this? Why is it just this absolutely ginormous rock? I feel like I want to land on it. It's a bit insane. Okay. Got another one of these bad boys. I'll just take the damage this time. Increased damage all in the air. Yes! That's what we were looking for, baby. Another one of these bad boys. Okay. There was something up here. But yeah, damage while airborne. Obviously immense for us. Um, guess you can have that. I don't know if it's any use to you to have the back thrusters, but you got them now, boy. You got them now. I've got plenty of money to go out here, so we can open a few regular chests. Just a few, though. Just a few. Hey, double sticky bomb. Don't mind if I diddly do. I'll go get the legendary chest now. Hey, that's really nice, that. We've got some good critical strike synergy going on here. Should be able to slightly hover down and then... Boop, straight back up and land up here. Yeah, that, that damage roll in the air on this character. I was hoping we get it. And indeed we did. What the fuck? I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> on pickup, cracks open, 15 essence boost stats, feather essence uh, will come with one more. I mean... Yeah. Alright, there's a bunch of all stats up. Right, where are we actually teleporting from here? Because I don't... I don't know right now. I am unsure as of right now. Oh, there it is. I remember, I remember seeing it now. The dice is nice. Then we'll smack this a bunch of times, see if we get anything. Topaz brooch is lovely. Awesome. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What have I done here? Okay. I've done something. I don't know what, but I've done something. Um, seems used up. I don't know what any of this means. Did I do good? I don't know what that was. That was spooky. Was it going to take us to a different stage, or was that just like an isolated event? This seems... this seems different. This seems different. This certainly does not seem like it normally does. 
Ah, there's one of our things, I think, that we just did. Oh, we got something over here with a battery on it. That extra fire rate is awesome. We got a teleporter here. This is a teleporter we can activate as well, okay. Right, let's go see what this battery thing is over here. Do I need to kill enemies near it to charge it, maybe? That's what I'd assume. Okay, make sure we stay in the air for that extra damage boost. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything going on here anymore. Shift, teleport, and network. Again, unreal, unsure what I did there, but... It's all new to me. Oh, we got you here as well, hello. Don't mind taking you out swiftly. By the way, I can spawn my boss on someone. Like on a specific target. Right, where the hell am I meant to be going here? Is there chests in this stage? Yes, there is. I say, I don't, this is the first one I've seen, I think. Oh, there's a legendary chest here. 4,900. I reckon we can do that. 4,900 seems plausible to me. Just need to find a lot more enemies. you over there. Don't die on me, Wisp. It's, ha it's hard to heal. Wait, there's multiple teleporters. 4,900 it was, wasn't it? There you go, we got enough. Well, that electricity did some good work there. Permanently reduced armor on hit. Very nice. Yeah, we've got multiple teleporters going on here, like everywhere. So I don't really know what's going on. But I seem to be able to activate them all. Let me activate it and see what happens. Do I have to, like, defeat all of these? Oh my lord, what is going on here? Oh my god, I'm about to die. Let's step well enough away, shall we? Keep our distance. We've got good damage over distance here, so there's no need to get super close. Right, so I, I think we've got to complete all of these teleporters by the looks of it. That's one done. There's some chests down here as well, quite a few actually. Very nice. Oh, Herpy Feather, finally. Right. We're good to go again here. This is mental, this is. I mean, at least we've got really good damage for bosses. I'm not having trouble with them really at all. They can hurt us pretty bad, but damage-wise, we can kill them pretty quick, so. Beautiful. Get two items per one of these as well. I keep doing that. Stop activating my goddamn thing. Just have a leaf clover. Kind of nice. Another teleporter over here, by the looks of it. It's the stone titans I'm most, most worried about, to be honest. Get out of range of them. Stay well enough away.
Okay, good. We got ourselves barrier and gold. Another fuel cell. I like all the fuel cells, man. I like all the fuel cells. There's so many of these guys. Stone Titans just walking around everywhere. There's just so much of this game to discover, man. Like, I'm always finding new stuff that I don't know about. Right. Another one. The constructs are the easier ones, I think. They don't really do much. We do have this shield, which is slightly annoying, but for the most part, that's fine. I'm loving having the ability to stay in the air for this long. Always a few big crits and we start going wild. Do we get a fuel cell from every one of these? It certainly seems that way. Not complaining right now. Right, so this isn't one we can activate like normal, right? Shift, teleport, and network. Replace fuel cells. Ah, I see. Okay. So you can get them as items. What the hell's this then? How do I activate this? Return to the planet. There might be more I could do here, but... We seem to be able to do pretty well on this uh, little island here. I like it. Okay, so now we're... Ooh, in the hell variant. Remember we're invincible for a very long time on entering a stage. Mokko looks good to me. Shrine in the mountain seems good to me. I could honestly go straight for the boss if I wanted to and... Uh, Oh wait, so this is like the last stage, but this area. That's different. Shift destination, please. I don't know what this is. Right, well we've got invincibility, we've got 33 seconds of it, so... Sword, nice. Grandparent is a little bit difficult, but our damage is insane. Bit of Corona Bobble there, lovely. And we got this portal here to enter the void. Some berries of some kind. Okay. Do a little bit more exploring, got plenty more to see on the stage. Malice. Oh, that's pretty good. Spreading damage, I like it. I'm getting this little noise whenever I purchase something, I'm not sure what it, exactly it is. Good old ghost apple. Ah, oh, yes, Krubba. Kind of been waiting for one of them. And charge up movement speed when not sprinting. Unfortunately, I sprint pretty much all the time, so that's not going to be super useful. Oh, so it's actually pretty good. It's not bad. Right, I think we're ready to go. With the chest here. Do I want to go for the void portal? I mean, why not, to be fair? Why not? Could be interesting. Let's give it a go. What's, what's, what's this we got up here? Is that an essence there? It is. Attack speed. Lovely. Right. Into this portal. Why not? Now, I can't believe the amount of legendaries we have this run. It's great. <laughs> right. We are in the void area. Pink. Ooh. This area looks really good in pink. Extra damage to bosses, nice.
Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I can wait 15 seconds and make sure to get these for free. There you go. Freebie. Um, upgrade an item at low health. I don't actually think I want that. Again, lens makers. No, thank you. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on right now. Dude, there's so many of these. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Boom. On kill effects occur an additional time upon killing an elite. Mm, that's really good. Yeah, I like that. Right, where are, whereabouts are we actually going here? We need to do the signal things, don't we? That's a big orb you fired at me there. Luckily, these guys aren't too hard, really. Uh, distance, especially. Right, where on earth are these things that we're supposed to be doing? So I've not actually seen them yet. Okay, uh, wait, are they all on the same island? Okay, that's that's convenient. Let's uh, let's let's go and do some stuff over here first, then. Um, give give item at the start of the next stage breaks a random item again. Not not worth. A special delivery, nah. Go with that. Whatever that is. Right. Let's go. Can we do two at once here, or would that be kind of crazy? We can do two at once, nice. Okay, not seeing any too difficult enemies up close and personal. I did not mean to do that, obviously. I kind of forgot that pad would uh, move us. Can't unfortunately hover in the air for the entire time during this one. Yeah, this one this one's really not too bad. It's in a location that's hard for bigger enemies to get to us, which makes it a lot simpler. Okay, one big enemy here. Make sure to get out of the way of this big orb when he fires it. It went after my after my friends anyways. a big boy somewhere. Oh, there he is. Get out of the way of you while you do your horrible things. Nice. It's been pretty quick, this. Oh, there's another big boy somewhere. Firing off those things. I don't know where he is, actually. Where are you, spider boy? I don't see you. You dead? I'm very confused. <laughs> right, so I think we've got a door at either side and we can pick which one we go through. Oh, there he is. Right, we've, we can go to the deep void. So let's, let's just have a little look, see what's going on here. We've got two different doors. We've got a door over here that I don't recognize and doesn't seem to be open. We'll check to see if it's got anything specific on it. No, this one's like not active. I don't know how I activate that one. There's that up there, which is also something different. Is this the deep void? Deep void portal, yeah, okay. And there's that down there, which I think is the escape. Okay, deep void, let's do it. I think this is to, to go to the big boss, which I think I've only done once. Yeah, this is definitely the big boss. I think we should be able to handle this guy. We've got 
pretty decent healing. I remember it being pretty tough, but I'm hurtful. Look at this bad boy. The Voidling. Now, I don't know how foolish it is of me to uh, sit in one space like that. Like, I'm hovering in the air like this. Is that going to be really bad for me? And as you can see, we're doing really good damage to him thus far. That Ancient Whisper guy is doing some good stuff as well. He's actually doing crazy good damage, the Ancient Whisper. If I could keep him alive, I would I, I would definitely try to, but I don't know if it's a plausible uh, strategy, to be honest. But he's doing more damage than we are by a, a, good, a good amount. Goddamn, he does crazy good damage. Waiting for him to be ready again, I guess. Dude, those attacks are so cool. Yeah, so at this stage, we want to be finding some amount of cover. Wow, that was a lot that you just put onto me there. Holy shit. <laughs> Moss is crazy, man. I love it, but it's crazy. Right, first phase done. Or is that is that all of it? I'm not sure. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, that's first phase done. I thought so. Ah, what have I done? Okay. Try our best here. I don't know if we're we'll gonna be able to get through this. I don't really know. We've got good movement speed, but I'm not still not super hurtful. This attack here is not too bad with all the little things. We can get out of the way of those pretty easily. Using this pillar here seems pretty useful. Right, it's big boy time, he's back. Once he gets close, he starts doing his business. I don't actually know where he is at the minute, to be honest. Oh, he's right on top of him, look. He's right on top of him. I don't know what this 130 thing I've got lined up here is, but... It keeps stacking. I'm hoping that's a good thing. I'm guessing that's the uh, armor reduction, maybe? I don't know what's going on here. Slowly dragging me towards, but doesn't seem to be doing all that much. Did kill my ancient whisper, I think. Okay, second phase is almost done. Is there a third phase? I think there is, right? Yep. Indeed, a third phase. And this time there is not much cover. Not much cover at all. Yeah, I don't know if I'm able to survive this at this closer range. I will try my best getting crits and stuff to heal, but. It doesn't seem super likely, does it? Once we stack up that armor reduction thing, though, it starts taking damage very quickly. This attack's really not too bad. It does some good damage, but, like, it's easy to avoid. Right. Stay away. Drop back down. 
Okay, you're doing that. That's fine. We can deal with that. Oh shit, that actually did loads of damage to me. Goddamn. Oh, is that it? Are we, are we, did we do it? Did we do it? Leave. I don't know if there's anything for me to collect in here, but I think we did it, boys. Nice, that's the first time I've been able to do that. And it's like a pretty quick run as well. 45 minutes for a Risk of Rain run is uh, it's pretty good stuff. I think that's the end of our run here. Yeah, beautiful stuff. What a fun run and what a fun character. That character is really cool. Definitely some risky moments in there. Definitely got low HP on that last boss there. But overall, that was mwah, smashing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll definitely be checking out some other characters and going for some more Void runs in the future. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.